In the movie's opening, we find ourselves in the 1630s New England, where William, the head of a Puritan family, stands trial. He boldly criticizes those around him, labeling them as hypocrites, while they accuse him of blasphemy against God's word. William's family comprises his wife Catherine, their eldest daughter Thomason, son Caleb, twins Mercy and Jonas, and their baby Samuel. Forced out of their New England settlement, they carve out a new life on a remote wilderness farm. The twins, Mercy and Jonas, often frolic with a large black goat they've named Black Philip. One fateful afternoon, while Thomason plays peekaboo with Samuel outside, she covers her eyes only to find the baby vanished when she uncovers them. Our view shifts to the darkest depths of the woods, where a weathered hand caresses Samuel's body. Soon after, a sinister figure lowers a knife toward the infant's chest. We then witness a haggard old woman pounding what seems to be Samuel's remains, before devouring them. The woman then fades into the shadows of the woods, Catherine is overwhelmed by grief and guilt over Samuel's disappearance, believing a wolf to be the culprit. William and Caleb venture into the woods to hunt, but Caleb grapples with emerging desires for Thomason. In the forest, he becomes consumed by fear, convinced that Samuel's abduction stemmed from their sinful existence. Fearful for his soul, Caleb shares his worries with his father. A tragic accident occurs when William's rifle discharges, injuring his eye, and their prey escapes. They return home to face an enraged Catherine. In a bid to shield her father, Thomason takes the blame for their hunting excursion. While Thomason and Caleb fetch water by the river, Mercy joins them and falsely accuses Thomason of witchcraft, blaming her for Samuel's disappearance. Playing along with the accusation, Thomason begins to terrify Mercy, confessing to being a witch and warning Mercy to cease bothering her, further intensifying the family's turmoil. As their struggling crops threaten their survival, Thomason and Caleb venture deep into the ominous woods. Their paths diverge, and Caleb encounters a secluded cottage. From its entrance emerges an enchanting woman who lures Caleb in, sharing a kiss before her decrepit hand seizes his head in a sinister grip. Later, Thomason discovers Caleb, naked and bearing scars, out in the rain. Growing concern grips the family as an ominous presence appears to infiltrate their lives. Mercy and Jonas persistently what? accuse Thomason of witchcraft, what? sowing seeds of doubt even in Catherine's mind. In a hushed conversation with William, Catherine suggests sending Thomason away to another family, unaware that Thomason overhears the plan. Caleb's condition deteriorates, leaving him bedridden. The family gathers to pray for his recovery. Gradually, Caleb begins to writhe and utter a peculiar prayer, joined by Mercy and Jonas, who also convulse as if possessed. Caleb speaks with fervor, anticipating a divine encounter, and he eventually succumbs with a haunting smile on his face. Thomason, overwhelmed by grief, rushes outside to weep in solitude. William accuses her of nefarious actions that led to Caleb's death, prompting her to angrily defend herself. She suggests that Mercy and Jonas may have made a dark pact with Black Philip, their ominous goat companion. William takes drastic Mishors and locks his three surviving children in the barn alongside the goats, awaiting some resolution to their nightmarish ordeal. Inside the barn, the children witness a ghastly nude figure feasting on the blood of one of the goats. The creature turns to them, emitting a sinister cackle that sends Mercy and Jonas into screams of terror. Meanwhile, Catherine appears to find Caleb sitting in a chair, cradling baby Samuel. She approaches them, intending to breastfeed Samuel, only to discover a gruesome reality, a crow pecking at her bosom, shattering her already fragile sanity. In the morning, a terrible scene unfolds. The goats are dead, and Mercy and Jonas are nowhere to be found. Thomason steps out of the barn and witnesses Black Philip attacking her father, William. He impales William with his horn, and although William initially tries to fight back, he eventually gives up and lets Black Philip charge at him again. 
This time, Black Philip knocks him into a pile of logs that crush him. Catherine, still consumed by anger and grief, accuses Thomason of being responsible for the family's deaths. She blames her for everything. Catherine starts choking Thomason, but in the midst of the struggle, Thomason manages to grab a nearby blade and defends herself, hacking at Catherine's face until she dies. Thomason quietly enters a barn, where she dons a cloak. She later encounters Black Philip and demands to talk to him. After a moment of silence, Black Philip speaks in a soft voice. He asks Thomason what she wants and what he can offer her. Black Philip then takes on a human-like form and walks behind Thomason, instructing her to undress. She complies, and they venture into the woods together, with Thomason now naked. In the heart of the forest, they come upon a group of witches, all dancing around a fire in the nude. The witches begin to float in the air, and Thomason embraces the darkness, finding herself levitating high above the trees alongside them.